Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. This is Jake, and it's uh, Monday, Thursday, the feast of uh, two institutions in the Catholic Church, the priesthood and the Holy Eucharist, which really come together. Without the priesthood, there's no Eucharist. So this feast is very important for the Church and for every one of us. Uh, I'd like to greet all my priest friends out there who... Uh, uh, are celebrating uh, the institution of the priesthood. Today, uh, also, we got news from uh, Chicago about a group of priests who banded together in order to continue administering anointing of the sick to uh, sick people affected by the COVID-19 disease in their uh, area in Chicago. You know, the other day, uh, we just watched uh, the movie Molokai, which was about the life story of um, a saint, Father Damien, who um, volunteered to serve the um, spiritual needs of the lepers uh, who were then quarantined in Molokai. Uh, you know, it's just... Uh, um, interesting how we tend to find ourselves under the same similar situation uh, with the COVID-19 quarantine that everybody is being encouraged to uh, practice these days. But there was one brave priest in the person of Father Damien, now a saint, who volunteered and ministered to the needs of the flock, the lepers, who nobody wanted to touch who people were so afraid of to uh, be associated with. But he um, served them, stuck it out for 16 years until he died of the same disease that um, these people were suffering from. I can't help to think that these, the example of Saint Father Damien is exactly the same example that our priests should emulate during these days. Uh, the same example that our bishops should look to as an inspiration of how to live out their priestly vocation, to serve the needs of the faithful. It is really a shame that many of our clergy have chosen to hide in fear and deny the faithful of the service of their fatherhood, the service of the sacraments that we need more than ever during these days. Where are our modern day Father Damians? We see a few of them. And I'd like to thank these priests in Chicago who abandoned themselves together to go out to the hospitals and minister to the sick. Well, today too, we had a good fortune of being able to go to confession. Uh, I contacted one of our um, associate pastors in St. Joseph's, Father Secker, who uh, graciously gave his time and his um, ministry to us to hear the confession of everybody, all my children. Thank you very much for that, Father Secker. And um, I know that there are many other priests out there who uh, are available. You just have to contact them and they uh, would be willing to meet uh, with you and your families, uh, maybe in the uh, convents of the churches or the offices or even just outdoors in the open air to uh, hear your confession. And this time of the Holy Week is one of the best times to uh, return to God penitently, sorrowfully asking for uh, pardon for our sins. Um, other things in the news these days during the uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, is that uh, they're saying that, you know, we're going to be extending the social distancing practice. Uh, we are also ditching um, the practice of handshakes. Uh, and, um, you know, um, uh, this Dr. Fauci is saying maybe we should forget about handshakes altogether already uh, because that is a source of, of, of uh, transmission of disease. And uh, maybe we should wear masks uh, longer than uh, 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 um, we are hoping <laughs> to do. Uh, and maybe we should be keeping our, uh, uh, you know, six feet or eight feet uh, distances from each other. 
And, uh, you know, the Spaniards could say goodbye to their beso besos or the uh, Russian hug or uh, uh, many other um, uh, expressions of intimacy. Intimacy, intimacy, closeness. So all of these practices we are doing now uh, out of, uh, well, I, I'd say, okay, out of a measure of prudence is really contrary to human nature. And anything that's contrary to human nature is not good for us. It's bad. Just think of how we kill babies in abortion. That is contrary to human nature. So all of this lack of intimacy that's being promoted nowadays because of this uh, coronavirus is really against human nature. And I can't help but think about intimacy and closeness during this feast of the Holy Eucharist. You see, our Lord knew very well that he was going to die. Yet. He instituted a sacrament, the Holy Eucharist, in order to remain intimate with us, in order to remain with us forever, in order to accompany us in this journey of life, in order that he be close to us in time of need. Closeness, intimacy is the very nature of the Holy Eucharist. Why? Because our God, the God who created us, the God who fashioned our nature, knew and knows very well that we people that he created, we human beings by nature, need and require intimacy. He wanted to be close to us, not only when he was alive, but all throughout, you know, afterwards, even while he was already body and soul back in heaven he wanted to remain bodily and spiritually with us through the eucharist because we need it so all of this distancing we are experiencing now really is contrary to human nature and we cannot go ahead in the future doing this rather than keep distance from one another I think the more scientific approach that we should adopt and we should really foster and we should promote is how to protect our immune system so that we can have the strength to fight off, ward off, and protect ourselves from disease. Not only from COVID-19, but any other kind of disease. Really, this is the kind of science and scientific, humanistic logical, rational approach that we should be taking in the face of this kind of a crisis and threat to our own health. It is to boost the immune system rather than keep us apart from each other. Because keeping ourselves apart from each other is against human nature. We cannot continue being like this. So rather than promote distancing more and more, what our scientists and experts should be looking to is, well, how do we help our people boost their immune system? Let's get rid of all the junk food that we are eating. Let's uh, look into, uh, you know, all of, all of these environmentalists should be looking into ways and means now of how to promote health, promote healthy living, rather than promote distancing and, and, and uh, isolation from each other. So... Uh, these are just thoughts that I thought I'd throw out there um, during this Feast of the Holy Eucharist. And I would like to continue asking our bishops and our priest friends, please open up our churches. Be the modern-day Father Damien's to serve the needs of the faithful. Today, on the Feast of the Holy Eucharist, on the Feast of the Priesthood, this is a very good day to change this policy of lockdowns, to change this policy of closing the churches and open them up for the faithful. Now, of course, I'm not saying you be reckless. Some people have accused me of tempting God. No, I'm not tempting God. But rather, I'm challenging you, bishops and priests, to think. Use your head. Instead of cowering in fear, use your heads how can we put the measures of prudence in place so that we can continue to serve the needs of the faithful it's a matter of creativity folks it's a matter of using our heads we cannot 
allow a mountain of fear to overcome us. We should rather respond with a faith that moves mountains and use our heads, use our creativity, put the measures of prudence where they belong, but open up the churches, minister to the needs of the faithful, make the sacraments available to everybody. Today, on the Feast of the Priesthood and the Holy Eucharist, I pray and appeal to our bishops, to our priests, to please pray about it, think about it, and really come up with creative solutions to, our, to the reality that we are now confronting and continue to make the sacraments available for everybody. It is a shame, it is a shame that we are doing this to our Lord and to the faithful. Where is the holiness? Where is the sanctity that is demanded from every priest and every cleric? This is the time to show it. This is the time to show that we understand what it means to live out our priesthood in any given situation. Father Damien comes to mind. Father Damien, please intercede for our bishops, intercede for our priests. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Our Lady, pray for us. Happy Feast Day, everybody. Let's all prepare for tomorrow, the Passion and Death of our Lord, so that we may see and participate in the truth of the resurrection. And I'm praying we may also resurrect from this pandemic soon. Have a good day. Bye.